we keep saying the same thing over and over again in different resolutions. I'm just going to upload them all and hope somebody gets my message in a bottle. Just like the uh, police. Song for the police, you know, message in my bottle. 100,000 uh, messages in a bottle. I hope that my legs are like walking on the moon. That's a different song. I still think of walking on the moon. It's message in a bottle is a different song. Um, anyhow, um, the thing is with VRs is you can't lie in front of it. Um, this is the thing to point out. And I'll point out some other attributes, but I'll get this all out here. Um, VR can't be manipulated. VR involves too much of your brain, your brain's ability to perceive and wrap itself around the imagery. The brain needs enough of a perspective on both eyes to be able to understand what the 3D is. If the, the perspective of the two eyes, the two lenses, are too close together, the brain will not have enough information to produce a 3D image. And so you will essentially be looking at 2D content. It, and uh, what pisses people off about VR right now is not um, what it is, is it's is, um, that they prefer stereo content. And what the world of VR is presenting them is old VR, and that is mon mono, mono I 3D or mono I VR. That is a, a sphere of imagery around them, but nothing sticking out, nothing actual stereo. Non stereo VR is pissing people off. They don't want it. I don't want it. If, if I see it, if I even smell it, I, I shun it. I piss on it. I don't want it. Fuck it. You know, whatever you had, it's done. That that was old VR. The new VR is stereo. And that's the only stuff that flies now. The old VR could be manipulated. This new stereo format, it can't be f manipulated. And the only people that are going to reign true in this VR medium are the people who are the shit. You know, the real shit. They're the people that are 100% the real deal. They're not people who are going to be able, be able to um, fool people. They're going to have to be people that tell the truth. Um, they're, they're going to be the stars and the ones... That either tell the truth or are just very damn good liars. Okay. And uh, so that's my take on VR. Um, so here's some attributes of VR. Um, you, um, this is to the cinematographers. And this is the reason why you as cinematographers, filmographers, are going to be scared shitless of this medium. This is why. You can't use telephotos anymore. Because telephotos make um, 2D cardboard cutouts of, of stereo imagery. Whenever you try to bring the two eyes too close together on something that's really far away, and there's a lot of distance between the things that are in front and the things that are in back, everything seems like, a th uh, like you're trying to uh, take cardboard cutouts and bring them into a 3D medium. That's what it feels like. And it just doesn't feel right in stereo um, to see such things from telephoto. And so telephoto ruins your, your perception of, of stereo, of, of the 3D. Um, your brain can't wrap its, wrap its understanding around a telephoto, two telephoto lenses from darting out from the eyes, looking at postage stamped stamps of, of imagery. Um, that doesn't work anymore. So you should be scared shitless that you can't use telephone lines. You should be scared shitless that um, 
there's nowhere for your camera crew to hide in VR 1A. In VR 360, you could probably hide, but it would be through stitching. And people can see through stitching um, in Stereo 360. Um, so the only thing that flies in stereo is, um, is absolute truth. Your actors can no longer have stunt doubles. Your, du your actors can no longer have doubles. Your stunt men will become your actors. Your actors will become stage performers. The reason why is because the stunt men can perform their own stunts. They're, they're the people that are going to be jumping out of copters and acting at the same time. They are going to be both. Now, you'll probably be able to have an actor fly in a copter and then jump out, pretend to jump out, and then there'll be a stuntman, but then you have to uh, fool the eye. That is not going to be easily fooled by the dimensions. Um, they're going to be able to see that the person that fell out of the copter, copter wasn't the same size as the person that jumped out. And they're going to be able to tell a lot of other things about it that uh, you could very easily hide from them in 2D that you can no longer do. You can no longer put actors on step stools to try to get them both in the shot um, because there is no shot. Um, they can see everything now. So there's nothing to frame. You, you can't frame shots anymore because in VR, there's no frame. The frame is everything. You're giving them everything. And so because of that, um, you, can't, you can't use the methods of manipulation of a 2D context, con, context like you could in, in previous. All the stuff that you, that all of your, your knowledge about um, selling a story in a film format is out the window whenever it comes to uh, stereo VR. In stereo VR, you don't have anything. You you can't you can't use the um, you can't use what you know. It won't fly in this space. So the vaudevillian performers that were um, were um, were um, pushed out to the street left for dead and died, they're now coming back from the grave and they're going to eat your lunch, Hollywood. Hollywood's dead. VR is going to kill it. VR is going to kill Hollywood and it's just going to make Hollywood die the gruesome death. That it, you know. And I'm liberal. I'm, I'm, I'm part of the liberal Hollywood kind of type, you know. I'm all for um, presenting to people a good story. I'm all for that. I'm just saying from the perspective that I understand where Hollywood is and how it came to be and how it continues to be. It can't in VR. The reason why is because now it's all about people, the stars of this new medium are not the people that were really good at lying. It's now the people that are 100% true. Or they're very, 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 very good at lying. You know, they're, they're the ultimate liars, or they're the ultimate, ultimate truth people. You're going to have to fool a lot of people in this medium for it to fly. For this medium to uh, fly. Or, I mean, for people to fly in this medium. The medium's going to fly. It's just... It's a question of who's going to be able to fly in it. And Hollywood's dead. Um, the, the art that Hollywood has relied upon for years, um, they can't work in this medium. And that's the reason why Hollywood's pushing back on it. And the reason why the scientific com community and everybody that's Google and Facebooks and these guys are pushing it for it is because they can see this is going to beat the shit out of everybody that's already in the industry. It's going to, everybody's going to want VR and everybody's going to understand why VR is so good. And it's going to be more entertaining. There's more distracting. 
one of the things from uh, filmography that um, you had to do with the film is edit, is to make a cut and do a different shot for every 1.2 seconds. That no longer um, is a deal in VR. In VR, everything's distracting. So there's no point in having cuts. So um, in this case, there would be nice to have a cut and I could put some, some interesting content somewhere. But the truth of VR is that it's 100% true. And cutting it doesn't make any sense. In fact, it would be better for me to have butterflies flying around in the room and bees buzzing and anything that was animated. That would be better for me in this, in this video than anything that I could produce by manipulating of the context of the video of being able to bring in I mean the only thing I could do is bring in other imagery and cut it in on top of my voice and do some intermixing of, of the two media uh, the sound and the video that's the only stuff that you could really manipulate um, so let's on our fingers do this again can't use telephoto lens. Your, your actors can't have doubles. Can't have stunt doubles. Uh, you can't manipulate the format. You can cut it, but you can't uh, put that. And you can splice it. You can fade it. And you can do a lot of th of whole, whole frame imagery uh, manipulation. But there's no frame anymore. So you can't frame any frame content. The way you frame content now is by um, is by selecting your scenes. People who are in the shot, when they try to end a shot, um, it they can no longer direct the camera somewhere else. Um, they just walk out of the room, or they stay until the thing fades. You know, because there's nowhere the the camera's not going anywhere. It's not being directed. There's nobody behind the camera anymore. The person that's behind the camera is the person with the VR headset. They're the people that are going to select what they're going to be looking at. So, and everybody who's acting in the medium, if they're going to be acting, they're going to be looking at the camera all the time because that's where their audience is going to be. They're not going, they can't not direct their eyes elsewhere. They, they have to understand that the whole world is looking at them through that camera. And if their eyes are not at that, they're not looking the world in the face. So every actor will look at the camera like they were looking at the audience before, but they, it, it will bore, bore them to tears because they'll be so sick of looking at the camera. But that's the only way you're going to keep the um, keep people um, amused in VR is by keeping is by making them think that they're the center of attention, and uh, so there, there's just lots of lots of things you can say about it. But I can say on the overall. And I'm glad of this. I'm 100% glad this is coming about. Hollywood is fucked. Um, in journalism, all these newspapers are going out of business and whatnot. The new journalism is VR. A journalist with a VR camera can do things for journalism that no, that nothing can do. You can't manipulate this medium. You can't, you can't, uh, you can only present the content you want to present. Um, but if somebody else has a VR camera at the same time you were taking your shots, or whatever it was, and you were trying to lie with it, good luck. Um, they're going to win out over you, and they and your audience will no longer trust you. Um, so their content, VR content, once you frame the, the only journalist that's ever going to do really well in this is going to be the real deal. It's going to be the journalist that just 
happens to be in the eye of the storm when they're taking their content. You know, they're the ones that are going to reign superior in this field of journalism, VR. And VR journalism are going to, you know, the, the real journalists, the ones that are going to succeed in this, are going to be the ones that bring the real story home. Is going to be, and the stuff they're bringing in to, they're like cats bringing in the dead parrot and laying it on the doorstep. It, you know, it won't look amusing from the perspective of the owner, but um, the presenter is going to be like, "Hey, look what I did for you! I went to all this trouble to, to." To bring you this content, and and the, you will be rewarded as a as a presenter, richly, you know, that you brought home the truth. And it will be better for you to not edit it at all. To have it'll be the the value of the content that you produce is going to be how true it is to the reality of what it is. Okay. You're going to have pure edited shots. You're not going to be, you might be able to manipulate context, but I kind of doubt it, that it's really going to fly as much. So, everybody has to be true in VR, you know, and or they have to be damn good liars. And uh, journalism is going to be, it's going to, it's going to uh, be resurrected. Um, there are going to be new news mediums, and they're going to be in VR news mediums. They're going to be bringing absolute truth to the to the uh, consumer. The consumer is going to get to see what happened in the House, what happened in the Senate, what happened, um, anything in our government. And it won't be that they're looking at any one particular person. They're going to be looking at every single politician that those politicians that think that they're not seen, they're all going to be seen. And they're all going to be, you know, anytime somebody says something and they have a reaction, if they got a smile on their face, they're screwed. So we need to have VR cameras in every single governmental meeting because everybody's eyes are going to be on everything, you know. They're going to be looking at everything, and they're going to catch everything. And there's nothing that there you can't hide from this media. That's what's scaring the industry shitless. It doesn't scare the people that are selling it. It scares the people that are are going to need to harness it to to use it. The people that made money on two D content, they're fucked in the three D medium. They know this, and this is the reason why they're downplaying. It's the reason why everybody in the industry is not interested in it becoming the next cool medium. They're they're coming into this, um, you know, digging their heels in. They don't want it to happen. They've never wanted stereo to happen because the stereo can't be manipulated the way two D can can't be framed. It used to be framed. Now it can't be framed. And so it's unframable stereo content. So the other thing is, is that in the part of VR that can be manipulated, and that's the CG computer graphics realm, um, the people who are going to be the real stars in the CG realm are going to be the people that are, have the avatars. The reason why is because they already got their mocap, they already got the motion capture, they already have their ability to film what they're seeing and being able to manipulate the the content um, by by cutting it and by re-rendering it and doing all that. They're going to have the capacity to do that without having animators, without having to have uh, filmographers, lighters, shaders, you know, everybody down the row. They're going to be able to do it all themselves. And that's also got the film industry shit list. Because they don't, um, they don't have to have really trained traditional animators to do 
animation inside of VR. Um, everybody has the potential to be an actor. Everybody has the potential to do their own puppet show. Everybody has the potential to turn that puppet show into a cartoon. Everybody has the potential to turn that cartoon into a movie. Into, and so everybody becomes a star, but the stars become everybody. They become like anybody else. And the only thing that will make them fly is their ability to, uh, to, um, to hold disbelief. It's through that, that medium of holding disbelief, which is the acting medium, they're, they're going to have to do their best acting in VR. And uh, guys like Tom Cruise is doing his own stunts because he's come to the realization that the people that are going to be popular in VR are going to be stuntmen, not the actors. The actors become stage performers. Vaudeville comes back from the dead. Vaudeville's coming back to Hollywood and saying, what did you do with our fucking medium, you dipwits? You, you know, um, it's great that you put these stories out there, but uh, um, what have you done for this art? Nothing. So go back to your to your caves, you um, lying, treacherous people, and bring them back and let us come in to our own. We are the real deal. We can present the content that people want to see. And what people want to see is they want to see the real deals. They don't want to see um, people pretending to be something they're not. They don't want actors anymore. They want they want stuntmen. The future of the action movie in VR is a stuntman movie. Is is a movie made up of stuntmen, not made up of actors. It's gonna be of stuntmen learning to act rather than actors learning to be stuntmen. You know, it will be actors learning to be stuntmen. There'll be actors that will come to the realization that what they wanted in the life was to be able to sit back and do their art without, without, uh, you know, without having to uh, deal with reality. Now there's, they're into something called virtual reality, which forces them to be absolutely truthful be true to to their to themselves you know your art no longer enters into it the art will be in the art of how you are as a person this be your life will be the art in vr vr is the ultimate be yourself be do your do diy it's the ultimate diy it's more diy than anything has ever been diy before and uh, usually whenever they come about to try to do something DIY, the whole purpose of doing it is because there's something missing. With punk, the, the thing that was missing was the fun songs. The punk artists wanted to bring back the fun of the 60s in the 70s and the 80s and the 90s. They wanted to bring back the fun of the 60s song, of having pointless songs. Um, that um that are fun to sing and that was what punk was about was bringing was getting up on stage the main main thing of punk was getting up on stage and doing what you do and doing it before people it's the same thing the the vr is the new punk vr is the new disco get up on the floor and dance VR is the new disco. You get up on the floor and do your thing. Um, VR is, uh, it is truth. It is, um, and if it is not truth, it is a damn good lie. It is, um, you can't hide from it. You can only be the real deal on it. 
you can manipulate context, but the but you can't manipulate the imagery. And for journalists, it's going to be absolute truth. And the journalists don't have to. Um, they don't have to provide a lot of content. They just have to be at the right place at the right time, collecting the content. And being able to show people that it was at the particular time and place that where it was. The more, there won't be any way to, to um, you know, the conspiracy theorists about the moon landing saying that the moon landing never occurred. Well, if the moon landing never occurred in VR, if it's ever to occur, it's going to have to occur 100% or else people are going to see through it if it's fake. So, space exploration in the in the day and age of VR is going to be more truthful form than it's ever been. Um, and the more people adopt this this uh, entertainment entertainment resource, the more people adopt it, the um, the less. Hollywood has to rely on being able to lie. It won't be able to lie anymore. It's all 100% true. And that's what scares the industry crap, is there's nothing they can lie through anymore. And, you know, people say news is fake, fake news, you know. All news is fake, and there's only some selected truths. And the VR, yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm falling asleep. But just keep in mind, this medium cannot be manipulated, and because it can't be manipulated, this is the reason why every filmographer is going to shun it. Why every live medium, unless it's somebody who likes VR, is going to be be pushed away they're going to uh, they're going to come up with ways to to, um, to rate the content you know they're going to be a new people finding out new ways to exploit the medium that have never been done before and those people that are going to do that are going to have to hang around a lot longer than what the media format's doing for them now. You know, it may be 100 years down the road, maybe 200 years down, 200, um, 200 days down. Yeah. I'm starting to fall asleep. Um, and whenever I fall asleep, I talk shit. But I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm begging you guys to understand that we need... As consumers, we need to adopt VR medium, and we need this more than we need television, um, because it's a hundred percent truth, and you need to hear the truth, because our our whole country has become polarized on truth. Each of us has our own truth. We're believing our own truths. That's what our world views are. It's us selecting what we want to believe. You know, whatever is your worldview, that that is the things that you want to believe. And if it doesn't fit your beliefs, then you don't believe it. You won't watch it. And we can't live like that anymore. Now the tr thing is, is we have to understand, we have to see it from every perspective now. And that's going to be more entertaining. And that's got to be more entertaining. That's got to be what the VR is going to be about. It's going to have to be about that. And if there's anything, any reason to lie in VR, it's to, it's to lie to the point of telling truth. It's, it's to, to try to edge people towards the truth. Because once you get them on the truth train, they never want to go and leave. Okay. They're not going to want to be lied to. Not unless it's in a horror realm. You know, if they're going to be want to be scared. If you're going to 
they're going to want to be scared. That's where they're going to be manipulated. It's where, um, and it's only going to be the scary people that that are going to be truthful and be scary at the same time. Those are the people that have lived lives that nobody should ever. You know, it's going to be the Keith Richards of the, of the uh, of the um, real of the reality star. It's going to it's going to be like if Keith Richards was a reality star, just to know all the shit he's been through. You know all the th- you know all the times he's been uh, drug or d- overdosed and it's drunk and shit faced and all that. You know all the stuff that he's gone through. You look at his face, and this guy's been through a lot. It's going to be like that for everything, everybody that's on VR. People are going to be looking at their faces to see how rugged an individual they are. And they're going to expect rugged individual type content. And you won't be able to hide yourself from VR. VR is going to see everything. And... The fun thing, the one of the fun things that are going to come about with VR, it's going to be another reality uh, show, but it's going to be like this. Somebody going to bring a VR camera into a reality, and they're going to expose everybody that's in that reality. And everybody in that reality is going to either sink or swim. They, um, their whole life is going to change for better and for worse at the same time. They're not going to be able to be the same kind of people they were. They're not going to be able to find any place to, to, um, they're not going to be able to find any place to, 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 um, relax in VR. VR, you can't, you can relax in VR as a, as a, a, viewer but as a presenter um if you're relaxing it's like i am now i'm relaxing and telling the truth because you can't lie in vr and that's only for the liars those are the people who are gonna have it really hard in vr um so for journalists you want to embrace vr full full heartily you, got, you want to do any of your 2D content that you're doing, you want to do it in VR first and edit it to, to 2D. You can do that. It's possible. The advantage with VR is that since it's taking in everything that you see, um, you can frame your context after you've done your 